welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Sugar Ray Leonard's on his way to the ring right now, and you can see how excited he is for this one. Lots of confidence. Everybody's Sugar Ray Leonard, marvelous Mark Hagler. Do as round one is underway. Giving away a bit of weight. What is the answer for Marvin Hagler? This is a welterweight Leonard. Well, first of all, I think the first time they fought that Hagler was a little over. He goes Whoa! Down. He has so Crikey. much time now. He's going to be forced to survive. Yeah, this is a welterweight Leonard and a middleweight Hagler. Somehow, so I'm going to have to box a bit smarter than I normally do. If you've and seen any of my previous ones, fight, you'll know he's got that smart his isn't my uh, favorite strategy. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. And a smart counterpunch by Hagler. Got a one inch height difference, so got to try and use that to my advantage. Whoa! Halfway through round number one. Whoa! Whoa. Sugar Ray Leonard's nailed by a huge hook. And a well placed counter by Hagler. Defense into offense comes back with the counter punch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Good counter punch. <laughs> Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Three in a row landing by Hagler. End of the round there. A round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, typically how are they acting? What are you seeing out of them? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You drop. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Teddy, he has so many strengths to his makeup as a fighter. But pick out a few that when you look at Sugar Ray Leonard, they really shine. Well, I think collectively they all go together. I mean, you could separate them, but together that's where you get the package. I mean, you have great speed. He has power. You have a lot of fast guys don't have that kind of power. He has the ability to adjust. He's shown that already in his career. He could go forward. He could go backwards. He could give you angles. He could counter. You know, he can fight in different kinds of places. And technically, he's really, really solid. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Solid counter punch by Hagler. Well-targeted combination by Hagler. the counter there's another right hand a good block He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard's attitude in that last round really paid off. You saw he was the much busier fighter. And round number three is underway. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Yeah, I can't really... Get involved in a toe to toe war in this one. Just sticking. Sugar Ray Leonard's proving to be elusive.
exclusive. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Just get in. Hit him. Get out. That's a tried and true method that works out very well. The counter punch landing by Hagler. Does it surprise you that he's not going to the body as much as he could be? Well, what surprises me is that he doesn't have the intuitiveness, you know, just, just the instinct to understand, to recognize the situation. That's part of the ability of a good fighter, to recognize what he should be doing in a certain situation. It's he's gotta not be the seeing that. Punching. He should be going downstairs. Teddy, what was it about Marvin Hagler that so many people were attracted to? What was it about just this, this iron rip chiseled warrior that everybody felt there's a connection for me there? I think it was all those things you just alluded to in the shaved head. You know, because he really represented everything that you kind of pictured if you closed your eyes and you thought of a prototypical fighter that you'd like to watch that you'd like to see, you know, a real <laughs> symbol of what fighting's about. And on top of that, he not only went after you, he not only looked like the product, he was the product. He could box, he could do everything. Final 10 seconds. <laughs> Able to show you his blocking ability. End of the round here, and as I glance around ringside hey, and look at the judges, I'm Christ. wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was, and you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard. Oh, and there you go. Sugar Ray Leonard stunned, and he is right, hurt. It up. Hagler is able to avoid that punch. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Sugar almost all of his countless. Right Not almost now. all He's of them. But... No holding. Seems to have a good uh, count at a stunning. Ratio. Eddie, he went from being on the edge of the cliff to now climbing back up the mountain. Well, you know, that's where you'd want to know if a guy recovers fast. Obviously, oh, he has the capacity half, to recover man. very quickly. This isn't going to be a very long fight. Good combination by Hagler. Hagler's doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is. Especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is. You're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked. But when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. Bunches and bunches. Combination up top. <laughs> able to stun his opponent teddy when you're training a guy that's coming off a round where he just got to his man oh what do you do do you say hey i saw that and here's how you did it how do you approach that well you want to make sure you remind them exactly what you're talking about how he set it up don't think about just a big punch that landed remember how you got right, to keep it well and that's exactly what he deserves the ref getting involved warning him for the headbutt teddy so many times a fight like this oh Sugar Ray Leonard's legs look shaky. He was hurt. Hagler's doing a great job on the inside, keeping busy landing shots. He was able to get up and continue. I'm getting last absolutely time. annihilated. He goes down again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, just, just, and just, Sugar just. Sugar Ray Leonard goes down, and now 
is rising to his feet. And now he's going to show you something that you don't usually see. Something that usually you need an x-ray machine to see. Inside him. You know outside what he has, all that great talent. Now he's going to show you inside what he has. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101. Counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. So none of my strategies have worked. I've tried to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. And I've tried to... This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this Box. is just back Keep him away. action non-stop. Well, Joe, with special effects of having in history, you way. remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. Ten clicks of the top. And a good counter by Hagler. Oh, End of that round, and the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. Sugar Ray Leonard from Palmer Park, Maryland is his hometown, where mom named him Ray, not after Sugar Ray Robinson, but after the musician Ray Charles. Well, either way, it's after somebody very special. Somebody that knew how to hit all the high notes. And Sugar Ray Leonard knows how to hit those notes. And also, there's something special about this guy in another way. We know about the talent, the speed, the charisma, the ring presence he gets in there. But this is a guy that, when you get down to the core of it, when he has to be nasty, I don't mean dirty with elbows, but I'm talking about a pit terrier. That's what he has. Nice block by Hagler. was not well targeted by Hagler. I don't know how they are keeping this up. They are setting such a scorching pace of action in this fight. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Hagler's doing well sticking to a game plan on the outside. Oh, that's got yes. Hurt. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Finally. Sugar Ray Leonard's not in this fight in my eyes. I mean, I don't see any scorecard where you can have this being close. He's down. No, on my scorecard, he's down too. And you're going to only change it one way. He's got to get busier. Time combo up top. Sugar Ray Leonard's in a spot right now where I don't think there's any doubt about it. He's losing the fight on points. Something has to change. What could that something be? Well, he's got to land the big punch, but he's not going to do it just by closing his eyes and hoping that he hits Lotto, hoping he gets lucky. He's got to be able to time something. Maybe time a right hand over a jab.
mark the counter punch by Hagler. I don't think that blood's going to be a big deal in terms of his vision. It's on the cheek. He just doesn't want any cut to worsen. Right, I got to him in that round. No, it was the previous and round. And you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by marvelous Marvin Hagler. Pulls the trigger fast. really being tested and it may be a test that he actually failed before this fight because I don't know that he came in in tip-top shape I just don't like the way he looks in terms of being a well-conditioned athlete right now yeah well he looks a little soft we talked about that he looks like his body tones not what it could have been and also his weight was a little heavy he's paying a price in those areas right now 60 seconds to go in what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Oh, what a great round. That's a tried and true method that works out very well. The counterpunch landing by Hagler. Just good, precise, precision punching by our man here. Yeah, everything in the place that it needs to be. Hagler staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. Sugar Ray Leonard's got to understand where he is right now in this fight. He'd be delusional to think that this is a close fight. He's down. Yeah, and I don't think I'm delusional, and I have him down. But the thing right now is he's got to roll those dice. He has to really gamble if he's going to get back in charge of this fight. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Hagler's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Solid counter punch by Hagler. And Sugar Ray's getting caught with headshots. But Teddy, to me, this is pretty simple. Move your head. Otherwise, the other guy will. And he's been moving his head for him all night. Oh, that's got to hurt. Sugar Ray Leonard's been stunned. Wow, he goes down again. This is going to be more the elevator fight. Up wow. And down all night. So what, the third time? Yeah, oh, wow, this is heavy. So Sugar Ray Leonard has to rise up and beat the and crashing to the canvas after that uppercut. Oh man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Trying to take on a middleweight with a welterweight Three, wasn't the best idea. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bang. It's over. This fight is over. Marvin Hagler's gonna be partying tonight. A knockout victory. It doesn't get better than that. I got a battering in that one.
Marvin Hagler I've lost my your last winner three by knockout, matches. Teddy. Well, we came in wondering whether or not his opponent had a good chin. We found out. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night. I don't think I'm going to. Bye-bye. <laughs>